Uh, Tom Izzo was saying he would have really liked to be around Bingham more yeah. this summer. He said it's just hard for him to put on weight as he throws down a jam there. Getting it to Sissoko. Now three seconds to shoot. Hall going to have to put it up off balance and he hits. Hauser, who has Michigan State's first four points. Again, the kick out to Henry and one for Aaron Henry. From the defender, watch on the catches on the move, goes hard, goes with his right off glass. Well, Aaron Henry, much more aggressive tonight. Ryan is really active, looking for his shot here early. The take there for Watts. Maybe that'll get him going early. Glad to see him back on the floor. Last time he played was December of 2018. Before that, he started the shooting game and the back door. Look, what a finish there for Gabe Brown. Watch the back door play here. Gabe Brown senses that door. Here's Durham. Gets blocked by Bingham. Watts on the push, again, to Brown, back to back. And this is a beautiful lead right here for Gabe Brown. Here's Watts again with the runner and the finish. How about that for a cleanup job? Marcus Bingham Jr. And Lisa, he was point blank and tried to lay it up and missed it. He's not missing this one and letting you know about it as well. Marcus Bingham doing what Biggs is supposed to do in that scenario. Run to the rim and clean up the miss. No box out. Largest Duke lead was 10. Well, Duke's been settling for jumpers the last several times down. Baker missed a three. There's a dunk and a very hard landing by Malik Hall. Gave him a little shove in the back. And that's his second foul. Nice to see Hall bounce back up so quickly. From one end of the court to the other is anybody he's been around. And now another Duke turnover and numbers on the break for the Spartans. And Watts again. And Michigan State is pulling away. We want to make it tougher for Michigan State not only to inbound it, but get it up the floor. Henry off to Marble for the dunk. What a night for Julius Marble. All on Henry in the team's fifth. A really nice pass by Aaron Henry in transition, but that is a big time finish. You know, and when you say an Andre Hudson type player, a lot of Michigan State fans are probably going, hey, he's a long way from Andre. Henry back on the floor, had it pop out. Oh boy, Goldwire just threw it right back to Henry. NCAA tournament, just the edge that they have heading into this season. And the floater is good by Rocket Watts. As a big, you can't put that ball down. You got to chin it. Strong play and a blocking foul chance for a three-point play. Pennsylvania. And he did. He did a great job. Ooh, and that's a tight one. That, the back foot might have been there. Position-wise, 50-50 call. That's what makes charges. Nine seconds to shoot. The lefty fires too strong. And on the push for Henry. It's the finger all finish, and the end one. Scoop, and we may be in East Lansing, but let's go to Europe with a little Euro step for Mech to kick off and bring it out. It was pretty electric. Rocket Watts, though, watching this possession from the bench. Oh, and what a possession it was. Gay Brown with the throwdown. Here's back. We go back to the half-court possession where they worked it around to Gabe Brown. It usually the corner you got to make a quick decisive decision with the way like the talent of Rashad Williams and this is this is great preparation for some of those high scores oh, 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 oh. high scoring indeed the alley-oop as Brown finishes his style Up two from Hogard but it's pretty easy to throw a lob to a guy where you can just put it anywhere around the rim and he's going to go up and get it take another look at it Good, just looking for more consistency on the offensive end of the floor, but a real talent. Drive a shot, a three-point opportunity. That was Gabe Brown knifing through the paint. Honestly getting bailed out by a really nice cut. Gabe Brown moving without the basketball. I said it earlier, you always feel like Gabe Brown could just give you a little bit more. Hauser 
Drives and kicks up top. Here's Aaron Henry starting the second half after not starting the beginning of the game. But there is a good start for Michigan State on the hold as Kithier gets the bucket and the foul. Brought great energy to this ball game tonight. Now that's a really good pass from Aaron Henry. The Minnesota weak side defenders kind of falling asleep. And that adversity is coming in the form of foul trouble here so far for the Cornhouse. This catch by Joey Howard. Yep, he's going to get a three point play. Who would have thought that that Michigan State would hold Rutgers to 40 with three minutes to go? More Malik Hall, who's been working so hard on the defensive end, gets ruled. Well, it, it looks a lot like they started later. Look at that! Oh, oh, high flyer! Beautiful lob from Malik Hall. Look at this. I love it. In such a small, confined space. And, and, and this... That can't happen in that position if you're Purdue. Well, there's too many black jerseys around, but just a heads-up play by Hall. Seven to shoot for Henry. Down low, nice look to Hall for the two-hand flush. Fred Hoiberg made a made an emphasis on that with his team in the first matchup between these two teams. In the first half, Michigan State got whatever they wanted on the fast break. Henry gets the end one off of the pump fake and the one dribble pull up. You know when Henry's game is is flowing because like he looks like he's in slow motion. Well, that's what I'm talking about. You cannot play against Michigan State by being set and try to go one on one. You've got to move. Good move by Hall. Went right by Harris. Scores with a foul. And dribble. Show it. Jab step. And then best jump. And keep your chin on the rim. Of course, Dave. Here's Foster Lawyer, who's been running a point for Tom Izzo. As of late, down the lane. Langford right hand off the glass. Hard and in. And the Spartans are on the board. Well, right on time. Lawyer in transition. Henry, hard drive on the baseline. Oh, nice look inside and an easy jam. For I mean, yes. efficiency within their offense where you, you rarely have to force an offensive opportunity. Oh, Zach Hoiberg is checked in the game now. Meanwhile, Gabe Brown. On the backside of this commercial after we see Gabe Brown get up and throw it down. One of the few highlights for Sparty this afternoon. But when we come back on the other side, tease you with a little something, something about the Big Ten. This Rocky Watts is in the game. He has not been feeling well at all. He's trying to give it a go. Edie, I think he's going to get called for personal foul number three, plus count the basket. You're going to see Edie come over, and again, Stefanovic isn't able to get Marble off, and Edie comes over and clearly fouls. Let's start going back to their sets. They ran a little box set early, and they've kind of just gone to free flow, and it's just not working. There you go. Dave Brown, mid-range two. He's had two look good looks. They've missed seven straight in the end. Here we go. Wow, that was beautiful. Galloping to the rim for a two. Well, this is pretty good. Aaron Henry from close. Ben Davis High School played for a great. Lots around the Sissoko screen. Driving inside, got that one over the outstretched arms of Coburn in the first two for Michigan's elevated a little bit up here in the uh, Kevin Kugler suite. <laughs> I must but, be in the front row. <laughs> but you're right, he had a player ahead. They pay it off. And that's how good Aaron Henry is. And this is just a, a great shot fake. Going to the left. Henry in traffic. No, the follow, yes. Strong inside. The activity of Bingham Jr. Look at this. Finish it. Out of position there. You know, and I understand you're trying to step up and help. You know, Corburn has to keep himself down low. Shoot the basketball. And right now, Michigan State again being super physical and getting out and running. Oh, the hit ahead for Henry. Well, Aaron Henry getting out in transition. Their free throw rate as well is top tier in Division One, and so that 84% from line is outstanding. As there's a hammer down low for Bingham for a three-point deficit. He's the number one item on the top of their defensive list for the Terrapins, who played great. Oh, it's a start Michigan State inside. Henry got it to go with a good pass inside. Knocked away. Smith. There's the recipient with a pass right here by this freshman and well-timed. Well, sometimes it's quickness that gets you inside. 
Step back, Henry. Wiggins there, maneuvering. And it will drop in. Been rebounding the ball so much better. That's what Gabe Brown needs to do. 6-7, flying in there and just giving them multiple opportunities. Marcus Bingham going upstairs. Speaking of flying in with a left hand, Lansing, offensive boards. You know Tom Izzo loves this. Left hand slam, Marcus Bingham. The 6-11 junior rising above Jackson Davis. Late shot clock. Jump stop. And a good bucket by Aaron Henry. Back to Henry. It's Aaron Henry time. Driving by Thompson. Stops. Puts it up. Ten straight points for Aaron Henry. Both ends down the stretch. You don't settle for a contested three. You play on two feet. You jump stop. You see race time. Aaron Henry drives it down the lane with a statement. That is big time right there, man. That is big time. They turned the ball over, man. They took that turnover. They go the other way. Here it is right now. Henry up, up and away, baby. Little jam city. Let me tell you, right there goes down the lane. I met your magic a little bit earlier. My favorite player. Somebody asked me, they said, who would you like to coach? You? He's going to put pressure on you in the running game. Turnovers. Steal by Aaron Henry. Now Watts will try and go to the rim. And he'll shoot. As That's he has he a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. It's on the board right there. Help guys like Henry. Here we go now. There's a transition game. We got to run, baby. We got to run, the sport and say. Oh, Mr. Watts with the conversion. Only two players to have two triple doubles against conference teams in the Big Ten. I.O. and the Magic Man. Oh, nice backdoor car. Nice backdoor car. That's basketball. Oh, it's great basketball. That's efficient. Watch this here. What a great bounce pass. The cut without the ball. That's basketball. Cut. Go to the goal. Give the rock up. That's basketball. I do. A genius in terms of hoop knowledge. Really knows the game. This is where Hauser's got to help him, too. Those open jumpers, if he gets them, knock them down. Hauser, left hand. Joey Hauser, the finish. Excellent energy. Came to East Lansing at 190 pounds. Now he's at 225. Hauser, creative shot. How about that little pick and pop roll to the corner? That open jumper. But right here, the cup. How about that? Nice. Players in the country averaging at least 15 points, five and a half rebounds, three and a half assists, and 1.3 blocks per game. Henry. There it is. And against the zone, a good read by him. Had the size to elevate over the guards. It's been interesting because they really... Oh, what a pass. Hey. Oh, what a finish by Marcus Bingham. The find and the finish. And Michigan State by a pair. Both these teams starting to get heated up a little bit. Great look. You know, his activity has really aided the Spartans in terms of interior defense. Brown, hey. baseline, two-hand jam. The races. And then Gabe Brown comes baseline, like, hey, if you're not going to cut. Watch the walk to Bingham, and an alley-oop gets Michigan State on the board.